morning again. Welcome to another edition of That's Railroading for Sunday morning. <laughs> We're cribbing ties here on Curve 26 again. We've, I've got uh, got a good bit done last Sunday. I got four rail links. A rail link is 39 foot. I got four rail, a little over about four and a half rail links last Sunday and on Monday. I got two more rail links. That's not bad for running the train. Sunday was a little slow, but Monday they ran pretty good. Um, but uh, I wanted to tell you, I've got this this done here this morning. Just taking a little break right now. Got a rock car on the way up, and I've got this little piece here. So I got two more rail links, or one more rail link to dig out here on this curve, and I'll be done with this curve. I got uh, up there's my regulator. I'm gonna. I've got to clean this shoulder. I'm up by myself here today. Uh, at my other buddies up there at bridge one they're putting in some uh, bridge approach timbers so I got all this uh, tamped up through there the uh, Friday had a good day tamping Friday and I also got all that down here where you see the new rock tamp Friday so what I do here is uh, you can see all the coal finds in this 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 uh, all these coal finds, they just they, they, they leak out the bottom. We have bottom discharge hopper cars, and they just uh, leak out the bottom of the doors. And over, uh, it's not a, not a major amount of leak, but over the, over uh, a period of time of 20, 20 to thirty years, it just plugs everything up. So they uh, and the, I told you before about we've only got four mechanics down there. And they've got so much to do. We really need a dedicated car crew. That would help a lot, but we don't have that, and those guys are overworked as is. They try to keep up, and they do a pretty good job. But it's uh, like I said, it's you got bottom discharge hopper cars. It's just a uh, they just the coal just leaks out the bottom. Um, <laughs> and these cars we have aren't new. Uh, they, <laughs> they've got thirty some years of service on these cars. Uh, they wear out so you can see what happens when the, when all these this, uh, these coal finds plug up the ballast the, the water can't drain away so that's what we uh, that's why I'm cribbing these ties out here we put all fresh ballast in and uh, then uh, then we got good water drainage uh, drainage is just absolutely vital to uh, hold keeping track surface held and uh, when you don't have it then these joints they want to pump up and down then you start to get battered heads and then all kind of things that we don't like to have happen happen so mud in the tracks and then over over time it also you know when when the water won't go in here won't uh, won't drain away i'm sorry the water won't drain away then it stays in here so you get uh you get your joints pumping and that pushes the uh the water that's in here down and then when the train unloads it acts like a pump and wants to pull the mud back up so you get this happening time after time after time and this is what you got and your track surface won't hold and now we got a battered head here that we're gonna have to get rid of we're gonna have to get this out of here that's uh, that's not good at all we, we're gonna have to uh, put a new section of rail in here or cut this out and put a plug in and weld it in. Uh, we just uh, that's what happens. So there you go. I want to uh, <laughs> give you a little more update on what's happening here at Curve 26, and I should be done cribbing today. Actually, in about an hour and a half, I should be done cribbing. Get this filled in, and uh, after I. You know, this is my first pass. I dig down through here, through the center, and I'll make about two passes. Then I'll come over here and I'll dig this end out. I'll dig this end out, shove this out, come back here with the regulator before I dump and, and clean this up a little better. Then I'll uh, shove the, the rock out on this side. As I'm moving up the track here with my uh, excavator, then I can reach out with my bucket and 
get down in here with it and sweep this out. So after I sweep this out, then I'll flatten the bucket out and make a nice grade off of here so the water runs off. The water's going to run off of here real nice now. Real nice. Clean this up just a little bit more before I leave. And then I'm going to get up, jump over our top and clean that big shoulder off over there. Several of you guys have asked, why don't you get a sifter bucket? Uh, that would be, we are actually, I've had several guys suggest that, and I think that's a really good suggestion. So we are looking into that. Obviously, it wouldn't be uh, much of use for, for stuff that's just so plugged up like this. But we have got a lot of good rock out there that could be saved. So thank you for those comments. All right. Uh, I got to get back to work here. And uh, again, I thank you very much for watching. And, um, I really, really do appreciate it. So I say happy rails to you until we meet again. Have a really good day.